guys welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about another important functionalities of the C preprocessor called file inclusion the file inclusion is very important functionalities of C preprocessor and it's a very useful resource while you are working with a large C program a large C project if you are working with a large C project you have to divide that project into individual employees in your company that means uh, you have to write that project into different C program files so for uh, get the application to work or the you have for finishing the application you need to combine all these files together into a single application so uh, you need a mechanism to combine multiple C programming files together into a single file that is the use of the uh, file inclusion mechanisms of the C preprocessor so I will demonstrate it with with a complete example so here I'm going to create a new C source file it's a new source file so this is the main file so I write the program here as include stdio.h of course this is the main file so it must contain the main method so here is the main method and finally it will return an integer okay so I'm going to save this save this file I'm going to save the file in desktop in the new folder I save the file with the name first and save the file type as C source file and click save okay now the file is saved in just in a new folder and the file name is first.c okay so now I am going to create another source file so again create a new source file uh, this contain a symbol C function called uh, display this file contain a single a symbol C function uh, that named display and in this function I write a print of statement print of hello from display method okay hello from display method so now I am going to save the second file into the same folder and that folder is in desktop called a new folder and I save the second file with the name second and save the file type as dot C click save okay now here there are two files first dot C and second dot C the first dot C is a file that contain the main method and second dot C contain a symbol C programming function okay so now I want to include the second file into the first file so how we can achieve that so here I'm going to use the C preprocessor functionality called file inclusion so here is the syntax hash include and put some double quotes and type the file name here the file name is second dot C dot C okay and in main method I'm going to call that method available in the second file that method name is uh, display okay so I'm going to compile the program compile the program there is no errors and now I'm going to run it and I got the output hello from display method so in this program I combine two files first dot C and second dot C these are two files but I combine the second file I include the second file into the first dot C file using the C preprocessor uh, functionality called file inclusion here is the syntax hash include and put a double quotes and provide the file name okay so this one is also a C preprocessor file inclusion but here it include a header file stdio is a header file dot that means it's extension for the head C header files okay but second dot C is a normal user file so what is the difference between these two statement the first statement instead of double quotes we using symbols like this 
but is the main difference so in the first statement the C compiler will check for the file only in the include directories of the compiler you can see the directories of the compiler from here go to the compiler option and go to the directories and C includes so these are the directories that is currently included to the compiler okay so in the first statement the compiler will check for the target file on the include directory only but in the second case the compiler will check for the file in both the uh, in both the include directories as well as in the current directory so the second method is more safe because if you are not if you are forget to include the file on the compiler include directories it does not show any compiler error okay that is the difference between these two statements i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next part